Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I'm really backed up on my vlogs. I I don't know how many weeks, but I haven't had a chance to do anything but work. And that is a blessing because this time last year, my shop didn't do anything. It didn't, nothing, like no views, no nothing. And then I've been working on it here and there. And the past few months I've been like really really trying to boost my shop and I have done that and it's Christmas time so of course people are you know crazy and buying early because of shipping so I've been non-stop working today I have to work on four shirts that need to go out um got two days to ship those and uh book sleeve as well I have um those two things need to be out at the door so I have 11 open orders yesterday I had 18 open orders and I brought it down to nine and then yesterday well last night I got two new orders so now I have 11 and like I said I have two that need to ship out in two days everything else is five days five days and six days but um what I've been selling a lot of is the book sleeves of course those have I have even this morning when I woke up which was exciting today's December 1st by the way um the first day of December um when I woke up this morning I checked my Etsy and my book sleeve is marked as bestseller so yay for me I'm so happy about that I was so excited to see that and then I also can see that um some of my items are in multiple shopping carts which really doesn't mean anything that's just Etsy boosting it so people think you know that they should buy it I mean that's just a, a a gimmick and then what else um oh ornaments <laughs> they're on sale half price off I bought I think it was three of them the 25 the this ones which is I have a record these I have all three of them down to this this is only enough for me to make one order that I got for 18 ornaments I need at least two more of those 25 packs because I have yes like I said last night I got another order which was for ornaments plus I have two other orders for ornaments so I sell them in a um, a set of nine six or three usually what they buy is a set of nine some people buy two sets of nines like that so two sets of nine is 18 I'm left with how many in in the pack seven so that's not enough to fill another order understand so so Michael's I put it in my um I bought it so I can pick up they canceled my freaking order I was so upset I'm like went all the way over there and when I get there is when I see that it was canceled they thought they had it in stock or they didn't they didn't shop my items fast enough so somebody else snagged them so I had to order them so they could ship I didn't want to do that because shipping is seven dollars trying to save money and as I checked this morning let me see What's going on with it? I know it said it was um, ready to ship, but it hasn't shipped yet. I ordered three of them. So I told my husband if I don't get it in the next two days, three days, um, I'm going to have to go to New Jersey and find it at a Michael's. Hope I, I can hope I can find it at a Michael's in New Jersey I'm a little stressed about that because I need to get these orders out I know people are expecting it so they can put it on their trees it's December 1st what have you but um so yeah so now I'm about to sublimate because I have to get that Stephen King book sleeve ready to ship at least by tomorrow I got my um, 
butcher paper here ready to cut. I gotta cut the fabric. Um, I already got the sublimation ready. And then what else I have to do? I'm trying to think about what else I need to do. I don't know. Oh, I also upgraded my my puzzles. So now they're gonna come in a little box like this. And you have the choice to choose if you want it to come like this or if you want it to come unscrambled. Um, so, and I raised the price as well. My sale was over last night. I got that one last order for the ornaments um, before the sale ended. It had a few minutes to end and somebody like bought it quick. So my advice, if you're like, if you've been like me, like me and your Etsy shop hasn't been performing well, do sales um, and do Etsy ads on top of that and just do three dollars a day to start you off with then raise it up by five to so you can be um in the algorithm so you can be shown so you can get yourself in the system so because and then um what do you call it advertise yourself you need to advertise 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 like instagram tiktok down below you can go and check them out I do a lot of TikToks. I haven't done many in the past couple of weeks, but yesterday I put one up of me um, finishing up my ornaments and getting them to the um, and packing them, getting them packaged. So if you want to check that out, my link is down below. And yeah, so I'm just gonna get to work and I'll update you guys in a bit. So a quick update. I just got. Um, notification that my ornaments will be delivered tomorrow between 12 15 and 4 15 so fingers crossed that's a good thing and it's gonna be delivered by UPS so I'm hoping that they deliver on time and intact and just received my zippers from Amazon Oops, took a picture so I just received my um, zippers. I'm gonna open them now. This is for my book sleeves, and I still haven't managed to sew up the teacher's gifts, so I needed zippers. So I have them now. I got this um, 60 pack, and these. Let me see. I hope these are long enough. I forgot what size I got. I'll tell you right now. Oh, these are 12 inches, so they'll be good for both my my large book sleeve and the small book sleeve. So, so I got 60 of those, not bad, so they could last me um, um, a little while. I usually get them from my um, neighborhood fabric store. It's like a couple of blocks from here, right on what we call Third Avenue. It's where all the stores is at, and it's just a walk away. So they have a fabric store there that I've been going to for years just to get little odds and ends like thread and stuff like that. Fabric when I need like black fabric and stuff like that. Um, I'm working right now. I'm cutting all the um, the designs for these shirts. This is the Gamer Boy. These these are also very um, popular on my shop. I've sold a lot of these. I hate making them, but. The, well, just one part of it, which is the loading part, is hard to weed. Um, it gives me a hard time every single time, except for this one last today. Like it didn't give me no problems at all. It just weeded out so nicely. I don't think you can see that it's so dark. But yeah, that part. So I do that by itself. So I cut it from the design and then weed it out by itself because it's so tiny that um, sometimes the Cricut doesn't cut it correctly. So like, I can't explain it. It just doesn't cut it correctly. What else? I think that was it. Um, yeah. Anyway, back to work. I also wanted to show you guys my shot really quick. And just so you see, um, let me slow back up. But I put some um, like decorative lights, Christmas lights to make it, you know, Christmassy um, for this holiday season and then as you can see 
It says bestseller. So excited this morning when I opened it up. And then when you scroll down, these are the ornaments that have that been very popular. These and these. But I've gotten more sales for these. The um, Jack Skeleton inspired ones. And as you can see, 16 people have them in their cart. The puzzle, um, I just upgraded my puzzle like I showed you. I raised the price, it was at $12, and I had it on sale. It was selling for $10.10, .10, so I sold a whole bunch of those. But I didn't make no money on it, but I just wanted to boost my shop, like I said. You have to lose money to eventually make money. But six people have that in their cards. Eight people have the other book sleeve in their card. And then the Skittle ornaments, um, four people. And then the Stephen King one, there's 20, over 20 people. And then this one says um, five people. The, the Smiley Face Beanie has also been popular. So those are more, my most, my best, my best sellers right now are those, how many are this? Three, four, five, those five things. I wish that um, my embroidery would take off. I have to work on those. So we'll see. Uh, I can see that this one here, the Fairy Birthday Family Shirts, has four in their carts. I have emails set up for people who abandon their carts. Um, they get an email to remind them that they have stuff in their cart. Um, let me go here to, I have to charge my computer. Um, it's time. Those are my 11 orders there, as you can see. And then I wanted to go to stats. Well, Star Seller first. I wanted to talk about Star Seller. My rating, as you can see, this happened this morning. It was at 95. I don't know why my message rate is has gone down because I answered the messages right away. I don't wait 24 hours. I don't understand why that, that number is. It was at 100%. And it went down to 92. The 88% on the five star rating was because this one lady gave me a one star. And if I tell you the story, you would like literally die. Like, what the hell is wrong with people? Like, I don't understand. I always ship my things on time. But the star seller really doesn't matter. So I'm not really even gonna sweat it. But because of that one star rating, my rate, my, my, I had 100% went down to 88. I was a star seller for November, which was cool, but now for December, I'm not. So, this is unbelievable. I just, this morning I got a message and I answered it right away. Yesterday I got several messages and I answered them right away. It's like crazy, I don't know how it works. But anyway, um, I don't know wh what's happening with Etsy. What's wrong with Etsy <laughs> is what I wanna know. Anyway, um, so with the one star seller, um, the, the one star that I got, it was for an ornament. It was for, an, she ordered two ornaments, two large ornaments. They're black and they have the um, skinny font on them. They're like, um, let me just show you which one I'm talking about because just so you can understand what I'm saying. Let me see, it's for these right here. For these um farmhouse style ornaments so she ordered the large one in black she didn't want the ribbon she ordered two of them and in the personalization she wrote two names right two separate names so i'm thinking one name for each ornament right i did that i send it to her she receives it she didn't, she didn't um, say anything about it for about a week. She sends me a rating of one star. Said she loved the quality, but that she asked for both names to be on the ornament. And I have proof that she didn't. And I asked her, I, I asked her what can I do to, you know, to make it better. I sent her a new ornament with both names on the ornament, free of charge. I pay the shipping. I pay for the shipping for these because there's free shipping on these um, ornaments. And she, and I asked if she could please change the rating. She didn't change the rating. So sometimes you got you deal with people like that. That's just something that's gonna happen. Um, every once in a while, you're gonna have one out of ten, one out of a hundred, depending on what you sell.
but yeah so that's the story behind that there so that's why my rating went down so drastically which is ridiculous like really I had a hundred percent you're gonna bring it down to 88 percent because of one star and I've been getting nothing but five stars for my Stephen King book sleeves if I let me see if I can show you my my ratings let's just show it here on your phone you can see them I don't know I mean, I'm sure you can I just don't know from where I'm supposed to show you that but but yeah really sucks but what can you do you can't please everybody right <laughs> you try to make it better but sometimes people just don't care they I asked her to please change it so it doesn't hurt my shop my small business and she never changed it so I hope she enjoys all three of her ornaments <laughs> and I'm just gonna move on okay I finished all of my shirts so here's the one for the birthday boy level 10 level up sister of the birthday boy this is a size 6 shirt and this is um just to show you I'm using the one from Walmart Wonder Nation and then the rest are Gildan from Michaels daddy of the birthday boy and mommy of the birthday boy so those are done I'm gonna package them up so I can have them ready to take to the post office tomorrow along with the Stephen King book sleeve I have to sew that up so I can have it ready I just got an order for a beanie for a smiley face so awesome I haven't heard any cha-chings today until now it is 1 30 still December 1st and I am rolling okay I have to also package those ornaments up I've been they've been sitting there for like three days drying I like to make sure that they drip and I also just so you know these sometimes you have to help them drip out so you have to like go like this or on a napkin like tap it so the the ink will come out of them because if not they'll stay if you put a lot of ink in there that like it, it'll sit in there and then you don't want to send it in the shipment the box and it spills all over the place so just an FYI for you guys a tip so I totally forgot that I have my campaign on so I'm guessing that's how I got that sale it just alerted me oh your <laughs> your campaign is on I'm like oh wait I forgot see and it's only at three dollars I already spent 275 today so there you have it hey guys it is December 3rd I didn't vlog at all yesterday because it was a man it was a day first of all I waited for Michaels to deliver well you UPS to deliver to deliver my Michaels order of the ornaments I opened up this gigantic box and it's the wrong ornaments I was so pissed and then I started to feel stress <laughs> like I felt it right here right here and I'm like oh my god how are they gonna do this to me so then I had to go pick up my daughter bring her here with my grandson because their car is in the shop they got into an accident a couple of weeks ago thank god they're okay it was just my daughter and her boyfriend in the car my grandson was with me thank god that they're okay but the car's in the shop still um, so I had to, since they don't have a ride, I went and got them because I wanted to, you know, spend time with them. I did that. And then I, I called around to see who had these ornaments. Like, these ornaments are so hard to find. Nobody is out of stock everywhere. And finally I found, um, that they had them in Yonkers, which is not far from where my daughter lives. So I said, okay, I'll drop you off. Later on when we, you know, when it starts to drop you off and then I'll go, I'll head that way. I'll call before I get there because it says that they had them on, in stock on the app. But you got to call these places because they, they, these people are crazy. Like I asked for this, the this, which is the, the, you know, the these. And they send me the round, they send me round ones that have like, um, sketching on them. I don't know how do you, how do you, how do you say that? But it was not even the, the regular round ones, like the plain ones. It was just 
three of them in a big gigantic box i still have the box there which i said i'm gonna keep because I, I gotta get rid of some stuff so it's good that i got the box but so i dropped them off i call and no they don't have them in stock so I'm like good we didn't drive all the way over there and, and they don't have them so what i did was i got on my phone i went on amazon and they had them on amazon but they so expensive on amazon it was like 12 12 of these for um 20 dollars i think it was yeah 20 19.99 when michael sells them for 25 for 20 for 19.99 but they have them on sale right now they're 40 percent off so they 11.99 for 25 so i said you know what i'm gonna order two from amazon and tomorrow i'll we'll check new jersey to see if any michaels in new jersey has them so that's what i did so i ordered them from from amazon and then this morning i called the closest walmart i mean the closest michaels to me in new jersey and they did have them and i'm like are you sure because she did she didn't even go check she said yeah we have them she was like yeah the the, the flat one not the round ones and i'm like yes those but can you please go check because i don't want to go all the way over there it's a 30 minute drive because of traffic if not it would have been like 15 minutes but um she's like no i just saw them we got a, a shipment and they're like we, had, we got like 25 of them so i'm like can you hold four for me four of them and she was like yeah i can do that i can put them at register one so I, i'm like i told my husband i hope she's not lying <laughs> and i hope she is holding them for me and she did she, god bless her heart when we get there they have yo, i went back there first when i walked in the register is right there so when i looked i saw my ornament by register one so i said let me go back there to see if she's right and yeah it was stocked so I was like, oh my God, thank God. But I had to go all the way over there because their shipping department is dumb. Like how? You, like you have the product number. How are you going to get it wrong? Like I don't understand that. But anyway, I got my ornaments. Thank God. Let me just show you guys. So I got four of them. There they are. And then I finished these. These are finished. This was an order of 18. I have three more there that I have to just put the, the decal on. And then put them in the box and ship them out. But I got them, thank God. And then I picked up this fabric because I use a lot of this black fabric for my book sleeves. So $5.90 something for two yards is not bad. If you buy it from Joanne, it's like $7 a yard. So yeah. And this one is poly cotton, which I don't mind. And then I got some of this. Because I ordered some on the Amazon, which I like the one that I get from Amazon. It's a lot more of it, and it I, feel, I like the way it feels better. So, this is S SF101. This is what I put for um, the interfacing that I use for my book sleeves. So, I got some of that, and then I did my groceries. I usually go on Sundays to Walmart to do my groceries. I said... I, since I'm here in New Jersey, I might as well just go to Walmart as well. So I picked I picked that up from Walmart. So there goes my little ornaments. So now I'm gonna <laughs> get to work, set some up to um to get ready to do, and then go. And now I gotta go outside and do my laundry because I'm sorry. Like I was saying, I gotta go outside and do my laundry because my washing machine broke. So now we have to buy. Oh, we have to buy a washing machine and don't excuse my hair um i need to wash it and it looks horrible i look horrible and i hate being on camera but i don't have a lot of enga engagement in my my videos so i'm trying to <laughs> show my face a little bit more but yeah back to work i go and then the laundry woohoo all right so i'm gonna um get to it i have my my polycritic here where's my um the smaller one i had even though it's oh there it is all right so i need to get some napkins as well i'm gonna set these up i have to add this first and let them drip for about i usually let them for like two up leave them for like two hours and then i add the paint to them so I got some napkins. Here are my cups. I get these from the Dollar Tree. I get the the pack of 16 cups, which are 15 cups actually. And these are nine ounces. 
these work the best for me for the smaller um ornaments the round ones I, you can use these little red tiny ones those are my daughter's those are the little ones that she's gonna put on her tree but, um so what i do i usually just take all the the covers off and then you know i line them but i just wanted to show you guys how i get this done so here's my ornament i just I gotta clean this first because it's dried the tip and I just take it and I just add a little bit not too much you don't have to add a lot and then just swirl it around cover the whole entire ornament and what I do is I use just one cup and I let it drip out and then I'm gonna add more because this is gonna take forever. But just making sure it covers the whole thing. If you hear a dog barking, that is my neighbor's dog when he's alone. He's all the way on the other side of my apartment, all the way on the other side, and you can still hear him or her. I don't even know where it is, but um, when she's alone or he's alone, he just barks all day. And I know they both work, mom and dad work, so I guess he's just lonely. So I just let it sit there, let it dry move on to the next one and do the same exact thing just add this stuff like so letting it drip because there's a lot of drip right now so I like to add it to just one cup then I can use that cup again for another ornament what's inside the cup I should say just like that and then what's in here I'll just pour it into another ornament This one is finished. This is all I have left also, which I think is more than enough. Um, I'm already thinking about things I can make for um, Valentine's <laughs> because yeah, my shop has slowed down, I noticed. I. What I did today, I made a sale again, and I turned on my ads because I got just one order yesterday. Today, I haven't gotten any. One order at 3 o'clock in the morning, somebody ordered another set of nine ornaments, so I'm glad that I found, found them because I was stressing over that. So when I'm finished with this, I'm just going to run downstairs. My laundry is right across the street from me, so that's good. I hate doing laundry outside, but I have no choice until I buy a new washer. And I do have a dryer, and sometimes I'll bring them upstairs and dry them here. Sometimes I just do it, the whole thing there. So they can move faster, because I can put everything in one dryer, because they're big. My dryer is not as big as the ones in the... Ooh, almost dropped it in the laundry so see how I feel today probably bring it up because well actually no I have bed sheets to do blankets and stuff so no I'll put it in the dryer down there so I just set it put my alarm and come upstairs run, run back upstairs get some more work done cook whatever have you and then go back downstairs and get them I'll have my timer on so I'll know when it's about to finish
That's usually what I do. So I don't have to sit in that laundry. And I've been doing laundry outside now for two and a half months and I'm like sick of it. I need, an, I need to buy myself a washer. And then when one thing breaks, it's like <laughs> another thing breaks. My son's TV is on the fritz and my daughter just gave us a TV. We put it here in the living room, which is this big old TV that's next to my craft table. And we took the TV that we had here and we're going to put it in our room. So the TV in our room is going to go to his room. Now we have to buy another TV for my grandson's room. I was going to give him the small one in my son's room, but it broke, of course. So now I have to buy my grandson a small little 27-inch TV for his little room, for his bedroom. Because he likes to watch his Mickey Mouse on the big screen. So I'm looking for a 27 inch. <sighs> Jesus, so much, so much, so much. Oh, by the way, the ornaments that they sent me that they sent um wrong, I was I took them back with me to the Michael store in New Jersey, and they actually gave me back all my money, even the shipping. So that's great. I was like, I wasn't leaving there without <laughs> my refund. I'm like, I might as well just return them there. And then the ones that I had ordered a few days ago, like this has been happening for for a few days. I ordered to pick up at the one in Scarsdale. I believe it's in Scar Scarsdale. But anyway. And we drive that way because I had to go to Joanne's as to Joanne as well. So I said, well, by the time we get there, they'll be ready for me to pick up. Like they'll they should have it. If not, I'll pick it myself. And when I looked, they sent me an email telling me that it was canceled because they didn't have them in the store. I'm like, what? Don't you people know how to do your jobs? Like, if you know there's nothing in the store, then update your stuff. But anyway, I haven't gotten the money back for those. I had ordered two to pick up, and that was $25.99. So I'm still waiting. If I don't get it by tomorrow, I'm going to call the bank. Well, tomorrow's Saturday, actually. So I don't even know if they will be fun on the Saturday. So I guess Monday. So I need that money back hello try to make money not spend money I have to make 45 more of these I have five orders of nine ornaments so that's what I'm doing I don't even know how many two four six eight ten twelve this is thirteen And I'm doing um, two orders right now because they're due in, I think it's three days. Monday, yeah. Today's Friday, so it will be enough time for them to dry and all that. Because you have to make sure that no paint stays behind. Because if you set, ship them out and they spill inside your box, you, you don't want that. Alright, so now I fill them all up. They're all over there now. I'm just going to open this back up. And I'm gonna pour what's in that cup in here. So everything that came out of the ornaments is gonna go back in there. Save you some money. Let it drip in there. All right, so laundry is done. Dinner is on the stove now. Those are still sitting there. I have like another hour or so, maybe less. And I'm just going to finish these two last ones to complete this order here. Um, I like to take my, what do you call these rags? I don't even know. Microfiber. And I sit it on it. And this is alcohol. 70% alcohol is what I have. And then I'll just clean it with the alcohol before I adhere the decal. I'll just clean 
around the rim making sure there's no paint it comes right off if there is with the alcohol but I clean the whole entire thing like that do this one just spray a little bit like that nice and clean I totally forgot to buy tape from Walmart so here's my decal, my decal and I just find that eyeballing it is the best way to go that looks good his mouth is a little crooked so that's how I gotta go down and I like to do the top part first I don't I don't push down on the mouth yet. I want to do this, his eyes and his nose first. And then I remove the backing. Like so. And then I straighten out the mouth. Like that. And then I push down on the mouth. And there we go. Little ornament is done. With his crooked face. Here's another one. The last one for this order. Again, eyeball it. It's my center. And like I said, I like to do the eyes and the nose first. Stick it down. It doesn't take much with this. I love this um, transfer tape. And then I push down on the mouth. Like so. Came up a little bit, but that's an easy fix. There we go. And it's ready. So cute. I understand why these are so popular. Because I have different faces. It's nine different faces. So that's why I put a set of nine. Or you can get a set of six. Or you can get a set of, well, no, not no more. Three didn't sell. Either six or nine. So now it's just six or nine. So there. 18 ornaments done. This is the second order that I make of 18. The rest have been nine, 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 nine. And then my M&M's didn't sell, but the Skittles did. The Skittles I sold, I don't know how many, like maybe 10 sets of them. And that's a set of five. All right, so I have my five orders here ready. I just got another order for six. So I'm gonna do them right now. I just got the order now, I'm gonna do it now. So I'll be able to send them all at the same time. I had that one order of 18, I sent it out yesterday. Today, by the way, December 5th. Today marks one year since my car accident. I can't believe it's been a year already. It's been a crazy freaking year. But anyway, so I'm gonna do these right now to get it over with. Okay, update time. I have two orders left to ship out. One is for nine ornaments, one is for six ornaments, well actually, three because somebody ordered just one yellow of the skittles so i have to ship these three out today and then i actually finished all my stockings this is the one for my dog oreo and then these are all our, ours i got the names on them and everything so now i just gotta um hang them up my grandson so those are done. My Christmas tree is up. Now I'm gonna mess around it. The stockings are gonna go up there. Right up there above my tree. I think it came out so nice. And then let me just show you guys what I've been working on. This is um, a sample that I'm making for my Etsy shop. This hat is for my daughter. This is um, popular now, the patch thingy. This is faux leather or maybe is um, vinyl i'm not really sure i think it's yeah this is full of this one is vinyl right here but my machine messed up on it so you can see i wasn't able to finish it and i know why so this um i bought this on etsy which is the the square um and i laid out some water soluble on it before it did the stitching so um, it can mark where you have to lay your vinyl on and then I put the vinyl on that and that made the machine 
go crazy. So don't do that. Don't put water soluble. Or if you do, put the water soluble and then let that that first stitch stitch out, and then remove the water soluble and then add the vinyl. Because look, I couldn't finish the hot. Like the vinyl, I mean the water soluble is underneath this, so yeah, it went crazy. So I have to redo the hat. This one was for my youngest daughter. This one is for my oldest. We um, a lot of people call slim because she's slim. And then these are still not sewn because. I ordered the stabilizer from Amazon and I checked today and it said it's lost. So I was supposed to get this three days ago. So I've been stuck with that. So I don't know. But in the meantime, what I'm doing is I'm making, I don't know if you can see it from here, sorry. I'm making these key fobs. And I'm sorry for the lighting, it's dark in here. But it's early morning. Today is December 8th. It's been a couple of days since I picked up the camera. It's 8.46 in the morning. But I'm making these, but I changed my mind. I don't want them to say teacher on them. I don't even know what I was thinking. So I switched it up. Here, I'm, I'm, I have this here, too. What do you call it? I gotta edit those um, clips so I can put these videos up. But what I did, I, I, I added their names on them, the teacher's names. So I'm making these just in case I'm not able to finish the book sleeves in time. At least I have something to give them. And then I could give them the book sleeves after Christmas. But uh, I've been so busy, I have no time for that. And I don't want to buy SF-101 from, from Joanne. And this stabilizer that I got from Amazon is so much cheaper. And it works better for me. Like it, I love the way it it holds on the fabric, and it's so much cheaper. I got, I think it was six yards for like fourteen something, fourteen dollars and something cents. And SF one hundred and one, if you get it from Joanne, one yard is I think like six dollars. So that's, excuse me, I almost said a curse word. That is like no. So I have it here set up. I'm going to start, I have, I think, 20 of them to make because it's like, my kids have a lot of teachers. Like, one is in high school and the other one is in middle middle school. So, you know, it's like 10 teacher, 10 teachers per kid. So that's, I have to make 20. And I think I need more, but I have to call the school and make sure that I have all the names of the teachers. Like, my son has um, a counselor. I don't know her name. She's new and I forgot. I know I spoke to her a couple of times on the phone and I keep forgetting her name. I'm not good with names. So I got to call the school and ask for her name so I can make her one as well. So I'm going to put this on the machine and get it started. And then the hat, I'm going to do that as well. Um, I'm going to redo it but in a different color because I don't have any more red beanies. So I have to figure out the color for that. And then I have... A couple of orders I gotta um, finish today as well. I gotta do two beanies. And what else? Oh, a puzzle and a mouse pad. So I gotta finish those so I can take them all to the post. Even though they're not due today, they're due next week, I think. But might as well get them over with. I know I have book sleeves I have to make, but those are not due right now. Those are due next week. Sometime next week, at the end of the next week. And those take time to make, so those I'll start when I'm finished with these orders that I have to put out today. And that's my update. Oh, and also, let me just show you guys. Uh, I remember if I told you that I, my daughter's turning 16. Whoa. And I'm working on her, her invitation. That's what I have so far. It's, it's blurry, but I'm working on that. Um, it's going to be a digital um, invitation, but my daughter wants some to give to her friends at school. So, that's it. So, I, well, my husband and I, finally hung up all of the stockings. <laughs> my dog. He is breaking his bed. 
But anyway, here are the stockings. They're so pretty. The vinyl, I put glitter vinyl on them. And they look so, I'm sure you can't see it on camera. But it, the sparkle is so pretty. And then that's my dogs. We can't let him near it because he'll just scratch it apart. I love the way it looks along with the Christmas tree. So pretty.